Good morning, Good morning Eagles. Eagles! I'm Paige Lynn. And I'm Madison Kellerman. And welcome to this week's episode of Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have the assembly after your first period class at Polyfield. Next Monday, there will be a drive-in movie showing Madagascar 3. It is $5 per car. On Wednesday, we have our parade starting at 6 p.m. We will start at the field house and end towards the football field. Wednesday is also fall sports senior night. That night, the powder puff game starts at 7 p.m., freshmen versus sophomores, and then juniors versus seniors. After is a bonfire in the polyfield parking lot. Friday, we have our homecoming game against Wakanda at home, freshmen at 5 and varsity at 7. The theme is casino night. Saturday is homecoming. It will be outside the main entrance from 7 to 10. Only Lake students are allowed to attend. Have you wondered where Ozzy the Eagle has been recently? Gavin, Jake, and Ian have the scoop. The mascot, the Eagle Ozzy, if you will. For years, our own Lake Community High School has been represented in respect, courtesy, and pride of our own Ozzy the Eagle. Where'd he go? My name's Gavin Murray. With me is Jake Purcell and Ian Murphy, some of the greatest minds in all of Lake Community High School. If they can't help me find where Ozzy the Eagle is, nobody can. I've gone searching all over Lake Community High School for anybody and everybody with information about Eyes of the Eagle. I think it's time we get some secondary sources. Where is the Eagle, David? The Eagle? What Eagle? Where's the mascot? Ozzy? Who's responsible for this? You hear me, as I think I've been on this before. I think it's a ploy because we all know birds are spies for the government. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. You, you've, read the, you've read the papers, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, birds spies. They go away in the winter. Where do they go? They say they fly south, but we all know what's south of Illinois, Area 51. All right, I'll be back. If I'm not back in five minutes, wait longer. Did you know we had a mascot? I'm, we, I'm only a freshman. I don't know anything. Wait. Well, newsflash, we do. Huh? Where, do you, where do you think the mascot went? Uh, First off, do you know what our mascot is? I'm going to guess an eagle. I, Correct. Do you know where he went, by chance? Not a clue. Eagles not a clue. don't migrate, right? I think. Well, do you know Do you know who might be responsible for this? Rife. Rife? That's, that's d definitive Rife. Do you know why I brought you here? I am unaware of why I'm here. Uh, some of the students and maybe staff have seen or haven't seen uh, our mascot this year. I do know the current location of Ozzy the Eagle. And where'd you say uh, Ozzy went? I cannot disclose that information at this point to Can't protect say. Ozzy as well as his family. He is there with a few other NLCC mascots as well as other local athletic conference mascots um, as a way to protect them okay. from the pandemic. So until we have moved further and the data and metrics will allow us to have uh, mascots at games, we have chosen to, again, uh, put Ozzy and some other mascots' uh, safety, well-being, and health um, on a higher pedestal maybe than uh, being present at some games. And that's the news. Due to COVID-19 and other health-restricted reasons, we will not have a mascot this year. This is Gavin Murray signing out. It's been 30 minutes. He is not back. Now let's throw it over to Jake and Ian with sports. Hey Eagles, I'm Ian. And I'm Jake. And, and this, this is sports. It's your time to party, to party, and get down like before. We 
we had a huge week of dubs. Let's jump right into it. On Thursday last week, girls tennis won against Wakanda 6-1. Volleyball won 2-1 against Marion Central. Field hockey won against St. Ignatius 2-1. Cross country went to Woodstock and Warren last Sunday to take a bunch of victories. At Woodstock, Becca Runyon got fifth place in the girls' flight, and Micah Lind PR'd while taking a cool third place. The Warren section, of course, featured tons of personal records from freshmen through senior runners. Cross Country on Tuesday had a quad meet at home with a bunch of PRs and season bests. JV and Varsity Girls Golf won conference, and Josh Anderson took second place, leading the boys to a fourth place overall. Both JV and Varsity Soccer beat Antioch 2 to nothing. And finally, Lakes Football destroyed, destroyed. North, North Chicago last Friday, 46 to four. Now let's throw it over to our Royal Rush for a Royal Rush update. Hey, hey Eagles, welcome to your Royal Rush update. And tonight we have a game at Grace Lake North at 7. And the theme is USA, be there or be square. Half shot, good night. What's up Eagles, this Saturday we have girls golf, we have girls tennis at home, boys soccer at Stevenson versus Stevenson, and cross country at Deer Grove Forest Reserve. And on Monday we have girls field hockey at Stevenson, and the Hulk Road theme is pajamas. And on Tuesday, theme is Taurus. We got boys soccer at Central. We got girls tennis at Lakes versus uh, North Chicago. We got field hockey at North Shore. And we have girls volleyball at Lakes versus Lake Zurich. And on Wednesday, we got a pretty busy day. For starters, it's class colors day. Freshmen wear blue, sophomores wear pink, juniors wear white, and then seniors, we wear black. And then for some events we got going on, we got boys golf regionals at White Deer Run Golf Country Club. And we got a girls JV field hockey game versus Lake Forest at home. And then for some homecoming events, we got our homecoming parade starting at Eagle Way at 6 p.m. Then we got senior night, powder puff, and then we got a bonfire to follow after. Be there. What's up, Eagles? On Thursday, we've got a girls varsity tennis invitational at 320 at Lakes. We've also got a field hockey game at 4.30 at Lakes versus Deerfield. Four! Also at 4.30, we've got a boys soccer match versus Round Lake at Lakes. Lastly, at 6, we've got a girls varsity volleyball match versus Wakanda at Lakes. Be there, be square! And on Friday, October 1st, we have our freshman football game at 5 o'clock against Wakanda here. And then at 5.30, we have the tailgate on the South Lawn. And then at 7.15, we have our homecoming game here against Wakanda. Be there. See you there, Eagles! Welcome back, Eagles, to another episode of your weekly weather. I'm Brighton Callaway, and as always, I'm here to brighten your day. Happy first week of fall! Today's high is a pleasant 76. The low is 45 with a very slight chance of rain. The temperature may be getting cooler, but our Eagles will be bringing the heat on that football field tonight against the Knights. Saturday kicks off the countdown of one week till homecoming, and it will be cooler with a high of 68 and a low of 44. It will be a mix of sunshine and clouds with light winds. On Sunday, the temperature seems to pick up just a little, with a high of 72 and mostly clear skies. Get ready for an exciting week full of homecoming activities. And remember to always leave a little sunshine wherever you go. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch the Royal Rush hype video before heading over to the assembly. I'm Addison Kellerman. And I'm Paige Lind. Signing, Signing off, off for Eagle, Eagle Eye News. News. Let's, let's define the beauty standard here. abs. I would love to live a nice, happy life. The American dream right there. I like blonde hair, blue eyes, kind of really tall. I'm really just doing this to win. I just really want that ring, you know. I'm interested in Luke because he has really good um, 